My brothers and my sisters, um, I'm sure we're very mindful of those who've already been displaced by Hurricane Harvey, those without shelter, those without food, those without basic necessities. And we pray for the responders, those providing the relief. And now we're praying for all those who've been affected by Hurricane Irma as it has crawled through the Caribbean and through Puerto Rico and now up the Florida coastlines. We pray for all those, too, who've had to sojourn and journey away from their homes, for their safety and their well-being, and for first responders. Here at the Catholic Community of Pleasanton, we have an opportunity to provide charitable relief. I invite you to go to our website, catholicsofpleasanton.org, to make a charitable donation. This past Sunday, the Lord had some words for Ezekiel, and those words, I think, apply to you and to me. Here's what the Lord said. You, son of man, that's Ezekiel, I have appointed watchmen of the house of Israel. Now you might ask, what does that have to do with you and what does that have to do with me? Well, what the Lord God is saying to Ezekiel is that you're not just accountable for yourself, but you have responsibility for your neighbor. You're also responsible and accountable for the actions of those around you. My brothers and my sisters, that means that we have degrees of responsibility and accountability, not just for ourselves, but for others. What does that mean? That should be terrifying. What does that mean? If we go to the gospel, what we hear in the gospel is if someone has wronged you, if someone's doing something wrong, then go to that person and speak to them. But my brothers and my sisters, you're going not to tell them they're doing wrong, not to prove that you are right and they're wrong, but you're going to tell them who they are and who they're designed to be and that they're formed in God's image and likeness and that they carry that divine message within them to be shared. In so doing, what you're doing is you're inviting them into a fuller appreciation of who they are. As we hear in the gospel, if that doesn't work, that level of loving care, and that's love because you're telling them who they are, if that doesn't work, then you bring somebody else who might have witnessed similar behavior. But it's done for the same reason, loving care. It's not done to chastise, ridicule, mock, scourge. It's done out of love, with love, for love. If that doesn't work, then you bring together the church. That might be a bit scary. But the point is, again, you are building concentric circles of love to surround someone with loving, fraternal support so they can see who they are. And in the end, what Jesus says is if that doesn't do it, then treat them like a Gentile or a tax collector. And my brothers and my sisters, that doesn't mean throw them out on their ear. In Matthew's gospel, that means you love them all the more. You stand with them all the more. You become charitable towards them all the more. You exercise patience with them all the more. You show mercy to them all the more. You exercise the love that is embodied in the very footsteps of who Jesus Christ is, how he walked, and the manner in which he invites us to walk too. My brothers and my sisters, we are responsible for each other. We must hold each other accountable, but we hold each other responsible and accountable to the law of love. Have a good week.